The regular season just getting started. What's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? <laughs> Let me. Set the toe. Set the line. One shot. Rockets are waiting out there for you, MP. Don't get him! And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What you got for us, DA? Thanks very much. I was able to catch up with the Raptors head coach. He said he honestly doesn't know what to expect. This is the first meeting between these two teams this year. So there'll be some feeling out at the beginning. But he told me sometimes that's when we're at our best. When we're relying on our instincts and awareness at the offensive end. Kevin, we'll see if that holds true. Thanks for the report, DA. Looking to get into a rhythm early grade with their shooting. And I think to get into a good flow, you need to get everyone involved, even if it's as a facilitator. Well, I think that's where knowing where your teammates are on the floor at all times is critical. And then being willing to give them the ball at the appropriate time. Tries the spin move. Siakam, good. Well, you love the size and the length of Siakam. So he's comfortable in the painted area. Does nice work there. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. MP against Siakam. And that one drops. MP's got his second basket of the night. And you look at MP, you have to think back to his very successful college career, Greg. Was an outright star at that level. Yeah, stayed three years before making the jump to the NBA. You don't see that too often nowadays, but he won a college championship and had nothing left to prove. And that'll be. Yeah, stay aggressive, guys. Don't sit back. Ken Burch has checked in for Toronto. Achua comes in for Scotty Barnes. Just five on the clock. Van Vliet, the shot that time, not on target. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And I credit the shot selection in that one. It's hard to stay patient, but you see the reward. Well, typically, Greg, great decision-making leads to great shooting percentages. I thought that team played a very smart game. And after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn net. The offers weren't enough to move the needle. And the decision was made to run it back. One thing's for sure. When you've got KD, you've got a chance. There's the pass to Van Vliet. And again, no good by Toronto. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's MP. And he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got six points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Here's Van Vliet. No good. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Warren the pass to Mills. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Irving. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Nets. 
and just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. The other thing, I cannot be more impressed by the defense they've shown tonight. Their willingness to close on shooters, blocking shots, playing with great effort. Mills dishes to MP. Warren sets the pick for MP. Inside. And Warren with the basket on the assist by MP. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. First quarter. Van Vliet kicks to Achua. Irving against Trent to stop the run. Two for First personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Toronto. For size and therefore was a post player in a different generation. The younger Mr. Trent, an excellent shooter from deep. Pretty much the opposite style of play. Curry's checked in for Kyrie Irving. MP with the second effort. Warren, good. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Trent against Curry. Trent passes to Birch. Van Vliet with it. To the middle. Here's a chew up. And there it is for him. Now just show off that basketball IQ, Mr. Fred Van Vliet. Pretty pass, sir. Curry passes to Mills to the paint. And MP throws it down. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. And it's MP with the rebound. MP's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Porter against Curry. Over to the left wing. And Patrick Mills gets the three. Mills has got his second bucket tonight. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Pass to Achua. Van Vliet outside. He dishes it to Porter. Now, here's Achua. He's covered by Warren. Again, the Nets for two. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want and defensively. 49, the record, 16. In the second quarter after this. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Nets pretty much in control here, it would seem. The offense firing on all cylinders. They dominated that first period. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. Siakam is out there with Chris Boucher. And it's Porter in at the three, the small forward. The drive by Siakam. Fires from the line. And it's MP with the rebound. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Hattie Mills is about winning, guys. If that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Trent passes to Siakam. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Siakam's got seven points in the game. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Durant dishes to MP. KD a screen on Siakam. MP passes to Durant. Two points. That one goes. 
He has seven. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Van Vliet looking around. Out to the wing. Siakam kicks to Trent. Back to Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. That's unselfishness from Trent Jr. We know he wants to score, but when your teammates that wide open, just simply put the ball where it needs to be. To the inside. And MP with the basket on the assist by Mills. Mills has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Van Vliet outside. It's a teardrop. And the rejection by MP. Thomas is checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Barnes is checked in. There's Siakam. Nine points in the game so far. Porter a screen on MP. Six on the shot clock. Lays it up off the glass. Siakam's got six in the quarter. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Mills finds MP. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Boucher passes to Van Vliet. Nobody near Barnes. That three off the mark. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. A busy few years for Nick Nurse in 2019. He helped lead the Raptors to the title, and he was the 2020 Coach of the Year. He says, it means a lot to me that this city and this country loves this team so much that we can go out there and give them something to be proud of. Of course, Kevin, he's been a key part of that success. Back to you. Maybe the single most important part of their success, D.A. Thank you so much. MP kicks to Mills. Back to MP. Screen by Durant. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. The, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Fades away. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more insane. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. Releases from 15. Toronto grabs the miss. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Barnes passes to Boucher. Back to Barnes. Boucher with a screen on Warren. Barnes kicks to Siaka. Goes up on the high post, and he gets the jumper to drop. Siakam's got 15 points. That's why they call him Spicy P, cooking up a mid-range J. Go ahead, Pascal. The Raptors are only a few years removed from its championship in 2019. Boy, a lot has changed since then. Van Vliet with the bounce pass. Pass to Siakam. Over MP and foul on the shot. So first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Toronto. But Greg, they haven't hit. Execution. On the court. Be up on them. Don't let them breathe, all right? Fifty-eight seconds left now here in the second. And here's MP for three. They get the rebound. And he hits. Precious Achua. Second personal foul. 
Chapter He's two. running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. The Raptors making a switch here. Flynn's checked in, and Kevin Durant has talked about the big 15 for the Nets, but Doris depth has been a concern. Yes, but Kevin, give Kevin Durant credit because he understands that he cannot win a championship by himself. An organization has got to manage payroll with big contracts and then find bargain role players. It's going to be a key to achieving their goals. Irving passes to MP, and MP throws it down. Really heads up play by Kyrie Irving on time and on target pass. We've seen that before. And here's Trent. He had a 21 point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Shot clock at five. Three pointer. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be back with you shortly. Keep going in the second half. Wow. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. And looking at the Grizzlies matchup, playing the team everyone has to go through in the West. But if you win that one, you could say, we beat the best, don't sleep on us. These are the kind of games that define your season. Taking some time now to look at our matchup, well, everything is going right for the Brooklyn Nets. What I like, they're sticking to their game plan. They aren't deviating, Ernie. They're like changing up. They're doing what the coach wants and they're focusing in, playing smart and under control. Yeah, that's been the difference maker for sure. Let's see if they can maintain that mindset. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has... For Nicholas Claxton. Warren comes in for Joe Harris. Thomas checked in for Kyrie Irving. And it's Mills in for Ben Simmons. Then for the Raptors, Chris Boucher is checked in for Ananobi, and it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Trent. So with Irving on the bench, this is the group that Jack Vaughn has right now. We've got Mills. Duran is out there with MP. Then it's DJ Warren, and it's Thomas in at the two-guard spot. Barnes outside. And Vliet right side. And the Raptors miss again. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Warren the pass to Durant. Dishes it to MP. Baseline try. Almost, but it rolls out. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Siakam, right side. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists now in this one. Durant, the pass to MP. The dish to Warren. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Warren's got eight points. Well, just great recognition. Rise and fire and catch and shoot. TJ Warren says, I can do that. Passes it to Siakam. And the rejection by MP. And the ball goes on. Durant and Toronto also making a switch. Banton's checked in. Over. 
the pass to Porter. Raptors moving the ball around. Boucher sets a screen for Barnes. Basket good. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Nets have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Thomas, a screen on Siakam. MP in that one. Good. MP's got 22 points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. On the wing, Barnes. Guarded by Kerr. In the corner, it's Boucher. Offline with his three. The Nets have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Down low, here's MP. And he lays it straight in. 24 points for MP. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. Still going hard. And that kind of energy and effort is how they built this league. Get the player. Here's Banton, covered by Mills. Fades, rebounded by the Nets. MP's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Boy, guys, when you think about the prototypical modern wing, Scotty Barnes, the reigning rookie of the year, certainly fits that mold, already proving to be a well-rounded two-way player. Out of bounds, Nets ball. Keep pressing, keep pressing. And then for Toronto. Achua comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Flynn subbed in for Barnes. And the Nets with possession here. Warren, good. And with Barnes, he's only scratching the surface of how good he can be. G.A., there is no question about that. Barnes is on the fast track to becoming a star. Why? Because he can score, defend, rebound, and even serve as a playmaker if need be. This is about developing those skills continuously and becoming more consistent. And Mills kicks to O'Neal. MP outside from deep three-point range. Rebound by the Raptors. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Outside Flynn. Now here's Achua. Guarded closely. Down to five on the shot clock. A nice shot by Flynn. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. Brooklyn's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Curry passes to MP. O'Neal kicks to MP. Back to O'Neal. He feeds it to MP. Let's it go. Brooklyn gets it back with the new shot clock at 14. Good on the shot. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Third quarter. Pass to Achua. Back to Flynn. And the rejection by MP. O'Neal issues to Mills. Now, here's MP, covered by Achua. And that one is good. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Nets. Uh, they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Well, that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Ken Birch has checked in for Chris Boucher. There's a minute left in the third quarter of the game. The three from MP. That one, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Flynn with it. C. 
six to shoot. Here's Birch. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. MP, good. It's starting to look like a repeat of last night, guys. He's battling really hard out there. Oh, he sure is. I mean, these past two games, his energy level has been sensational. Whether it's a putback like that or other hustle plays, he's been everywhere. Now Flynn. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. It'll count. Checked in for Sharp. Kevin Durant floor, comes MP. in for Markeith Morris. And it's it. Seth Curry in for O'Neal. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steals. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? Yeah, even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensive. So for Toronto right now, Achua is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Chris Boucher. Then it's OG Ananobi. And it's Porter in at the point. MB finds Curry. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Back to MP. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kid gloves, you're really not doing your job. The, the audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, players don't mind you criticizing their game. It's when those critiques become personal. Feeds to Durant. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his seventh assist here tonight. Raptor shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And here comes Thomas leading the fast break, and it's good for two. Thomas got nine points here in the second half. Boy, KD has become such a feared defender and there creates off his defense an easy opportunity for his teammate. Here's Siakam. And good that time. Siakam's got eight points in the quarter. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. KD, a screen on Siakam. Tries to keep it alive. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Nets. It was a standout performance. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for MP. Boy, you couldn't help but notice how well this guy protected the rim. There was an intimidation factor thanks to his defense. No easy shots in his neighborhood tonight. MP passes to Thomas. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Here's Trent. It's rebounded by Durant. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Thomas finds MP. Thomas sets a screen for MP. Back to Thomas. Shoots over Achua. That's good for Thomas on the assist by MP. 
they made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point it looks insurmountable. Back to Birch. And that'll be two free throws. Number 35. His third personal foul. Team's fifth foul. Shooting for Toronto. Ken Birch. And at the line with two shots. And both free throws good for Birch. It's the Nets now. On the wing, MV. Covered by Birch. Upside Thomas. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. No. Yeah. Uh, I gotta show you something. I'll try to catch Just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? <laughs> that, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Major poser. <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she's very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Mm. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the mm. game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, so what? Why can't you be more of a leader like MP? <laughs> what are you gonna now. be so gosh darn selfish all the time, MP? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading the team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, oh. <laughs> but you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh. <laughs> all these NBA right. players. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis, right? <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Shep, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies? Because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say, your game's trash. Oh, oh. Your agent's trash. Mm. Your girl's trash. Mm. And you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah, no, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow. And they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal. But we are going to, obviously, you need to strategize your response, OK? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here. And we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you literally what you pay me to do but yeah see you in a bit <laughs>